We are going to make the Lewis structure for chlorine monofluoride. First, let's figure out how many electrons we have total. By looking at the periodic table, we can see that chlorine and fluorine both reside in group 7. So we have a total of 14 valence electrons. This will be our supply in this formula to figure out how many bonds we will need to make in this molecule. So the demand would be to satisfy the octet rule on both atoms. So 8 plus 8 is 16. So 16 minus 14, which is simply 2. Divide that by 2, and we figure out our total bonds will be 1. So let's do that and fill in the remaining electrons. Do, do, do. That looks horrible. <laughs> but anyways, we can see that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, which was how many valence electrons we have, and it satisfies the octet rule. We have 8 on here, 8 on here, because we are sharing these two electrons in here. But first, let's figure out our formal charge. So the valence electrons for chlorine is 7 minus the non-bonding. So 2, 4, 6, plus number of bonds. We have a single bond, so that's 1. So 6 plus 1. And we're subtracting 7, so that's just going to be 0. So let's check fluorine. We have 7 valence electrons once again. Uh, Non-bonding, 2, 4, 6, plus number of bonds. We have a single bond, so 7. 7 minus 7. 0. So we also have a 0 formal charge. So this will be our correct Lewis structure.